What go on my people? So recently, Egyptian was on ER Entertainment Report with Anthony Miller. You know what I mean? And he was talking about VP record and dancehall artists not making any money. We have the video, however, we cannot um, show the video, so we're gonna listen to this audio and we come back. Why not VP? That question posed and answered by Hold Your Singer, Egyptian. A publishing deal. You had a publishing yes. deal? Which is as expired, so. The part of it, yeah. Gold selling singer Egyptian on the roster of New York based VP Records since his crossover hit Hold You. Egyptian, as I said, has been the, in the enforcer of, of his career. Not a company, you know? VP more like would be a tag along with the team. Hey, yo, Egyptian, tell them for Guan. A Hold You remix with Nicki Minaj spent 15 weeks on Billboard's Hot 100 chart. VP should have even with the remix video with, with she. Just like already this, the, the, the remix with, with Lady Lashore from England. They should have done one with that chick also. Despite what they want to say, how well they want to say me do, I feel them cast. <laughs> But he wants to see a more effective approach to marketing local acts for the international market. Give me your honest assessment of VP and how it impacted your career. Not in a good way. Not in a good way. You know, they, they should, I think they should have done more towards whatever the agreement was. More, more as in more, more promotion. More knowing how to promote an artist. Is there an entity out there that deals with reggae music on the scale that VP deals with reggae music, which has the right approach to marketing uh, that's, an that's, artist? That's the big thing. Because once you're like a reggae artist or a dancehall artist, at other companies, the first thing they would say, why not VP? You know? So pretty much they don't know. They don't know. VP is the only one that I really see that knows about it, but not doing as they're supposed to. She make me feel so good. The problem is, they don't know how to deal with it. They need people in the company that knows how. Look at this. An artist in America, we're not bashing anybody or jealous of anybody, but just saying, because we see things that can also happen here. An artist in America can say, Millions of records sell, millions of views because of what? marketing strategies you know likewise vp has all of that look at all these young actors coming down to jamaica now pretty much a smart one is not going to sign to vp you know because they already see what vp and so my time them take too long to get to a company so i think that's boiled down vp just needs to do better vp could say that it's not easy dealing with a lot of reggae and dancehall artists because maybe they have the wrong attitude or they just don't get the business side no of that is not it business business and artists is artists worldwide i think jamaican artists are some of the best behaving artists compared to what i've seen out there and vp couldn't say that because there's no service to what going out there you understand especially a man like me them can said me put in the work Worldwide people can say Egyptian put in the work. Promotional tours, me one of the first artists them like we really take that seriously. They have other artists that have done it before me, you know. But they are the progressive one. They are the successful one. The one that does the free shows. And we a man do that freely. Not saying, yo, you have to go pay me, you know, me have the hot song, you know. I want to know. Me know I go with the song, you know, I want to know. No. You know, there's so much happening with dancehall and reggae internationally in terms of even the beats the foreign artists are writing. And just look at the success of reggaeton. People see the fact that Jamaican producers and Jamaican musicians and Jamaica etc. They see that they don't understand or don't see the use of their own music. That's why everybody coming in and taking a piece of the cake. And why not? This one big piece of sweet cake right there so when nobody now eat, you realize that this is nice. Yeah, but cut it and go on. All the big acts them, all the big this, all the big that in Jamaica right now. Them not sell nothing. Me, you can't, you can't trick me. You not selling. And that's a big problem. The revenue for we now come in. 
like how it's supposed to be coming in. I know. No matter what this or not that, we don't have no rich reggae artists. If you are uh, 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 Shaggy uh, uh, and, and, the, and the mall is them, everybody has got some fright on Friday. Make some money and say that we're not rich people. Where the yacht there? Where the helicopter there? Where the house in Paris there? Eh? Where, 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 where the island where we own? Hmm? And them something that me are talking about. That that mean need, that that mean want. And that VP they must stop with and get. And VP, you can't give it the island, you can't take the world, man. Can't make the more money the same way. Different marketing strategy. That's what Jamaican music need. Everybody where I segregate them one another and it need to stop. Personal business need to put aside and let us do business. Business ain't personal people. I want to take this for a joke. The music is ain't no joke. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. So how oh, we can get our real share? Bob Marley still sell more than enough for And look how long the king pass on. Egyptian recently working with Sean Paul and Samantha J. Number one like a trophy. Hey! On an international level. That's it. You dig people that people know. So it's, it's, it's less promotion because as I say, me not have the money like that, like VP them and the rest of them for promote it. So me have to spend cautiously and neatly with the right direction move Egyptian Nepal. You understand? So pretty much. As me I said, these people are already established. Myself has already established. And people have been anticipating for, for Egyptian for quite some while now. So, yes, let it out. Egyptian also with his own production label, Right Direction. Putting back in the music. Busting back some new talent to make them can come and tell the team. We we'll just watch my team. We we'll don't watch. We we'll don't see. Me not coming to music for hype and this. Me coming to music for live like a king. And I will set it. So people, that Egyptian talking about um dancehall artists not making any money and VP not um promoting the artist the right way. And people, if you notice, this has been an ongoing thing for the um been some time now because honestly, if you notice people, a lot of artists leave VP record and some things that um Egyptian is saying I honestly agree with most of it if not all you know what I mean because VP is not putting in um as much as uh, um as they should in these dancehall artists you know what I mean and for VP as um a, a renowned um marketing company for these dancehall artists and reggae artists signing them I think um Egyptian is right you know what I mean? Because as he said, people, the hip hop artists, them, they, they put out a song today and it got millions of views and they're making millions on this song. You know what I mean? While VP and the people have these artists and not prom promoting them the right way. You know what I mean? And it, it's kind of mind babbling and um, I've been um, thinking about it and pondering why is this the case because VP as he said is, is, is a renowned company and they are the most um, well known when it comes to producing or promoting dancehall and reggae artists you know what I mean so as far as I see it's like VP are exploiting these artists you know what I mean so I think VP need an, a competition me people you see me because why is VP not Promoting the artists are not pushing the artists the way they, they, they should. You see me? And for um Egyptian um to call out even uh Junior Ganga and um Sean Paul and Shaggy, I think it did the right thing because there have to be um a, a body of, of, of um artists that really um want dancehall artists and reggae artists to make more money putting out their song and I'm glad Egyptian is doing this you see me and, and I'm exposing VP because I, I've always pondered why VP are not really supporting or not really promoting these artists you see me and to, for Egyptian to come out and really exposing them I think Egyptian did the right thing and more artists that was um signed to VP they need to come out and speak against VP my people you see me because it's 
I, I, it's obvious like VP are not putting enough in these artists. You see me? Even though Egyptian said didn't sign to them, there was just um a, a publicist to, to him. You see me? So people, I'm supporting Egyptian a hundred percent behind most of what he's saying, and he's right. Most of these dancehall artists, they're not rich. They're not really making no money because, as I said, the hip hop artist people, when they put out songs, the songs go up to a hundred million views. You know what I mean? 50 million views. 20 million views, 30 million views, 10 million views all in a day. You know what I mean? For VP to be a, um, a reggae and a dancehall publicist, they need to do better. You see me? And I've been um, pondering it, as I said, for some time now. And I've been researching them. And they've done a lot better for other international artists. So I think VP is um, robbing dancehall artists and reggae artists. I don't know how true this is, but that's just my assumption behind um, what is really going on. You see me? And as I said, people... I really support what Egyptian is doing and I support what he's saying. You see me? And as he said, the dancehall artists, they're not making as much money. Because these dancehall artists people, they don't really have their song on um, iTunes where people are buying evil at their singles. You see me? If stage show don't keep, these dancehall artists don't really make any money. You see me? So all of these dancehall artists that's in Jamaica just... Having um, a hype. It's just a hype. It's just a facade. You see me? They're putting on a front. That's why I said I agree with what Gibson is saying. And I support what he's saying. You see me? But I want to hear you all views on it. Because it's kind of interesting that um, Gibson came out and really saying all of this. Because it has been in my, my cerebrum for quite some time that I really um, was going to talk about it. For Gibson to come out and talk about it, I have to applaud Gibson. You see me, so big up to Egyptian and big up to Anthony Miller for really giving him the opportunity. You know what I mean? Peace. I'm out. Work in the country, you have to look upon. And him do great works too, because even though him did a jail, him still be the champion DJ boy. Yeah. And some boy will say them didn't want him to go to jail. <laughs> the biggest dancehall analyst in the world, Ninja Man. The biggest dancehall analyst in the world, Ninja Man. I am saying that. Winfred Williams, take me on, on that if you wish.